Hello ladies, if you know Playmaker and you're afraid of C-Sharp, um, you shouldn't be because if you know Playmaker, you know basic logic. And I just want to show how easy it is to start jumping into scripts and editing them. I plan on doing a whole course on it later, but this is just a quick example of how you can start modifying scripts on your pre-purchased assets. So anyway, I've got this house set up I made, but if I run the game, uh, you can see that my first person controller has a built-in flashlight. I don't want this creepy game. I want a full home lit environment that's warm and inviting, not some creepy stalker game. That's not the purpose of my game. Anyway, so what I want to do is figure out, uh, this thing has the first person controller, has a built-in F button that turns your flashlight on and off. So I know if I disable it, do my post-processing to ramp up the lighting, it's exactly what I want. I just need to get rid of the flashlight thing at the beginning. So it's awfully done in scripts, should be easy to find. So basically, you know that the first person controller has a script attached to it. If you go to a first person controller, you go to your inspector, just kind of poke around. You'll see, uh, look for anything that's attached to a script. And right here it says simple player script. That's a good place to start. And you just click on the script assigned. These are all the scripts assigned to the player motion through the keyboard and here if I click it again you'll see the highlight that's the script that's actually programming probably that flashlight if you double click it you're going to pull up Microsoft's Visual Studio code and again you don't need to know how to write C sharp to figure out what's I mean you're smart you know for playmaker so you just click around you can even search for the keyword flashlight there it is right there or you control F flashlight these are all the instances of the flashlight object, and you can see it's looking for a key control, and it's toggling the flashlight on and off, okay? Piece of cake. If I deleted this code, the flashlight probably would never turn on, but maybe I do want to turn it on later. The goal for this piece is to find the flashlight, how to turn the light off at the beginning, all right? So if you kind of poke through here, you're toggling. If it, you cl click the button, it sets it to off, you click it again, it turns it to on using false and true. So you look for a start state for your script. It's usually right there. You just poke through and just kind of read in English. Um, void start, that's the start of the, the script uh, process. So let's just go ahead and cheat and grab this piece right here. Flashlight, set it to false. And paste that into here. Now, when I save the script, when the game runs, it shouldn't start with the flashlight on if everything worked correctly. And it recompiles everything and we run it. Now our flashlight now is, the default is off since we did that Boolean state. And the functionality of toggling should still exist. So we zip around this house, hit F, Great. So it's it's as simple as that. So it's even actually easier than creating an FSM. Um, you just basically read the C sharp, kind of figure out what's going on behind the scenes, and you should be off and running. Uh, so leave comments if you want to see a more detailed C sharp tutorial on actually how to do programmatic stuff from scratch, events, and scripts to trigger FSMs, and I'll go ahead and do those. But hopefully this gives you an idea of how easy it is to uh, jump in to your scripting languages without knowing anything about C-sharp. All right, bye. Hello, ladies. Because <laughs> everybody says, what's up, guys? Okay. Hello, ladies. If you want to